everybody. It's Murray from James Bond Canada. Happy holidays. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and uh, get to celebrate Christmas and all of the great things about the holidays with the people that you love inside your Bond bubble. Um, so welcome to the first holiday edition of 007 Minutes, episode number six. Um, obviously it's the holidays. I'm sure everyone has seen all the gift guides online. Um, I myself got some, uh, got some chocolates. These are available at the 007 store. And, uh, you know, the holidays wouldn't be complete without the special Bollinger uh, gift box. No time to die. So that's, uh, that's something for my holiday list. But I thought about uh, gifts for Bond people. And uh, sometimes you can get some great things online. Um, sometimes you can buy some of the merch and some of the brands that go along with 007. But I thought back to one thing that really, really excited me. Back in 1998, we were in between Tomorrow Never Dies and The World Is Not Enough. And uh, I actually thought it was a little bit strange that uh, in 1983's Octopussy, that the auction took place at Sotheby's um, because I thought that the 007 franchise had a little bit of an affinity already for um, Christie's. So today's episode of 007 Minutes, episode number six, is all about the Christie's auctions of all the Bond merchandise um, over the years and uh, the catalogs. Um, you can find these on eBay. Um, they're really, I mean, it's just really great, right? The bullet holes through the back. And this was really something awesome and really, really cool because everyone, you know, we all have books about... Uh, the Bond franchise, whether it's books about posters or about memorabilia, but these catalogs, they really were able to, you know, look at that. That's the uh, the display case of diamonds that uh, that is shown to James the Akbar Shah and all the other diamonds that are shown to him by the diamond expert. I forget his name, uh, Major or Colonel somebody or other. Uh, in diamonds are forever. So these are all, you know, props and posters and things that were associated a lot of on-screen use stuff some great you know production stills there and obviously these were all uh, for sale so some great stuff in here um, I suggest maybe eBay and of course you can go to the Christie's um, auction ca catalog uh, archive to see if some of these are still available this one is pretty hard to get now because this one I can't believe it see this is something that's cool for me because I was around but think about you know some of the younger Bond fans uh, who are just blowing up our channels and speaking of channels we want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's subscribing and liking to our channel and loves our content um, we just hit 600 and we're really really thrilled about that so thank you everyone for for subscribing to our channel um, and we're hoping to hit 1,000 by the time that No Time to Die comes out. So if you like this video, um, we're going to do a giveaway at the end uh, for the holidays and hope you enjoyed that. So stay tuned for that in a couple of minutes. So this, this first catalog was September 1998. So, you know, that's 22 years ago. So if you're only a 30-year-old Bond fan, you know, this was before your time. And it's a real uh, awesome snapshot on some of the great, great things that were given away, or not given away, of course, sold at the first James Bond Christie's auction in Kensington, of course, um, September of 1998. So move along to the second auction a few years later. This is February of 2001. Lovely Ursula there on the cover, um, Pierce on the back of the catalog, and again, just, you know, like, there we go, right? Honey's bathing suit. Um, purchased at, uh, at the time by Planet Hollywood and then displayed in one of their, uh, their franchises for many years. Um, some of the original posters and original comics. I mean, these are just, it, it's, it's just like Bond candy, you know what I mean? Because, again, there's lots of picture books where we see sets and, and designs and costumes, but this is a, uh, you know... A catalog obviously of all of the various things that came from some of these showed up in some of the later auctions too but like look at this right a, a, a lion brooch worn by Miss Moneypenny in I haven't got my glasses on of course oh in the man with the golden gun 1974 so it's obviously probably gold probably diamonds uh, probably an emerald is the eye but just I mean so awesome and uh, beautiful glossy collector's items I love having these um, and I have all four 
So that was 1998 was the first one, 2001 was the second one. We waited a long, long time, but then this one came along, and this was a huge deal. Of course, October of 2012 for the 50th anniversary of James Bond. This was pretty spectacular because by now, you know, Skyfall and the billion dollar Bond and, and everything, there was just such a resurgence in the Bond franchise. And this particular auction, there are many people out there in the uh, Bond community who actually bought and or bid on some of these items. Uh, I believe uh, there's a, a Bond, uh, a Bond uh, community leader out there that we know, I believe, that has uh, who managed to get the original uh, Topol um, uh, Colombo uh, Dove cufflinks from this particular auction. So this particular auction, the 50 years of James Bond auction, uh, they had uh, items from every movie. So there was a, a section. Um, and these, these catalogs are just so sleek and so, so beautiful. Um, if you can get your hands on them, I certainly recommend that you do. Um, on the back of this one is of course the painted gold lady with all the 24 Bond films on the, on the back or painted on her, of course, you know. Um, one of Daniel Craig's Omegas. So you can see the sort of the the thrill of, of these catalogs and why they're so cool. And then the most recent one, uh, 2016, a much smaller, but this was the Spectre auction. So this was a much smaller one, um, but only specifically items from Spectre, right? Uh, the uh, Martini Shaker, uh, Bond's Tie, um, what else? Uh, his JB cufflinks, gorgeous, and uh, you know signed photos. Of course, the Spectre ring was in this one. So um, if you guys uh, are into that sort of thing, um, and I imagine that everyone would be, check out eBay. Check out the Christie's um, catalog um, or catalog archive. And uh, maybe you can get your hands on some of those catalogs. Um, I love them, and I'm sure you will too. So now moving to our what I uh, I'm going to term all our holiday giveaway. Um, I'm going to post a picture on Instagram after our video um, is up, and it is a giant door panel, uh, 20 by 60. Uh, cardboard poster um, from Tomorrow Never Dies. So if Tomorrow Never Dies is one of your favorite Bond films, you'll certainly want to get your chance to, to win that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to post two photos uh, on our Facebook page. And those photos are vignettes from two movies. Just movies, uh, general movies, not Bond franchise, not Bond related, not in any way, just two movies. In any case, the two pictures put together are going to um, create the name of a character from Tomorrow Never Dies. It's going to be fairly obvious. We're, what we want from you is the name of the character, and obviously it's from Tomorrow Never Dies, so you don't have to tell us that. But then, the hard part is, I want you to tell me the names of the movies that the two photographs and vignettes are from. I know that sounds hard, but I've been thinking about this one for a while, so if it's too hard, I might have to give you a hint, but I'm sure you guys will all do great. So from James Bond Canada um, to everyone out there, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, hope 2020, 2021 is a much better year than 2020 has been for all of us, wishing everyone a happy holidays, and uh, we're going to... Um, uh, we're going to post this video and then we'll post all the details of, uh, of our contest and you might see Jeff and I on Instagram live or something uh, closer to uh, Christmas where we might share a glass of Christmas cheer with everyone. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.